What's up guys, Mike here, and today we are rebuilding the Los Angeles Clippers. Now, I've gotten a lot of requests to rebuild the Clippers before they even traded Tobias Harris, and now since they traded Tobias, I mean, it just makes sense. Especially because I am posting a video on this trade tomorrow on my main channel, but that video doesn't really go too in-depth on what the Clippers are doing, it's more about the Sixers. This will be a five-season rebuild, however, I think to make things fair, I'm just gonna keep season one, you know, as it is. We're gonna start whoever the computer wants to start. Start. we're playing whatever the computer system is it doesn't matter we're just going the reason for that of course is in a perfect world I would just purposely tank and be horrible and it looks like I don't even have to do that we're one in six anyway regardless the Clippers right now as it is are not horrible they're a borderline playoff team and with the loss of Tobias Harris yes they'll probably not be a playoff team yes they'll probably slip into the lottery however they're not going to be one of the worst teams in the NBA that is why if I do end up being one of the, like the top five worst teams i'm going to just trade back to the 10th overall pick and then work from there all right guys so the boston celtics won the nba championship lou williams with a big 22 points per game shy is going to end up probably being either a huge part of our team or the number one trade asset we use to make our team better so yeah we probably are going to get one of those good picks that i was talking about and we end up getting the number two overall pick all right that is fun okay so as per the rules that i made which i think are fair we we had to give the Knicks our number two pick and we end up with the number 10 pick and it's at this point in the video where we are going to see who is a trade asset for us and who we can move to hopefully move up in the draft and maybe trade for someone else I don't know by the way I am doing this an hour before the trade deadline that's just how my video schedule is going right now so Avery Bradley has been traded but we do not have him right now he's going to be a free agent so we just won't resign him basically we're just getting nothing for him okay so looking at our team Harry Lou Williams, Gallinari, and Shire, all three stars. Landry and Jerome are two stars. That is very good news. That means we are possibly going to be able to get the number one pick and okay right there we just had to trade Montrez Landry our 2021 first round pick 2020 and 2021 second round picks for the number one overall pick easy easy now staff signing here is going to be massive so let's take our time with this because doc i'm sorry i think you gotta go now our staff looks like this we got mike stauffer and we've also got the number one and ten pick and the number three pick in the second round very solid to start things off you already know who we're taking right away let's just go ahead and do it boom with the first pick the los angeles clippers select zion williamson yes we're taking zion so i think zion's the right pick and i also definitely think romeo langford and number 10 is incredible let's get it zion immediately is an 82 romeo is a 72 darius only a 68 not great but and if we make zion a small forward 86 oh my god amazing let's go romeo is best as a shooting guard that's fine basely is incredible as a small forward what okay we just found a diamond in the rough in darius basely as for team player options yep avery's gone we're gonna keep tyrone and Sindarius. and you see a lot of declines here we're going for anyone we can normally when it comes to these rebuilds i don't go for the top free agents but that's what the clippers are going to be doing that's their whole goal here is to go for these top free agents so that's what we're going to be doing too let's take a look at the money that we owe people right now galinari you gotta go man lou probably has to go too because right now we have 44 million dollars to work with we're going to try to sign two max free agents we're going to try to start this off with a bank so it looks like in order to offer two max free agents we're going to need to get rid of galinari four draft picks and the Hawks are willing to do that. Okay, we're just gonna take the Hawks draft picks, but, and that's Cleveland's draft pick too. For now, we have $66 million in cap room. Just to make sure we have everything we need, we're gonna move Lou too. We're going all in on trying to sign two guys here. So we can clear up our almost $5 million more by trading Lou, and we get Troy Brown Jr. Not a bad trade. As for now, we're going for the ultimate here. We are offering Kevin Durant. We are offering Kyrie Irving. No Durant and no Kyrie, which is tough, but hopefully we can make it work. We could also get Clay and Cousins. That is still a 
fine duo with me. He has an offer from the Mavericks for like the max. All right, we just gotta go max. Clay has an offer from the Warriors. Surprise, surprise. We're gonna go max here and we get to Marcus. Do not get Clay. Okay, perfectly fine. We have a lot of cap room left and Kyrie pops back up here. So whatever happened with whoever offered Kyrie, they did not get the deal done. We are gonna offer Kyrie the max. We're gonna, you know, let's give him a no trade clause. Let's throw in a player option. You got whatever you want, Kyrie. And he sides. Oh my God, what? Okay, so I honestly thought we were kind of screwed. Not gonna lie, I was kind of trying to play it off. I thought we were gonna have to sign someone like Chris Middleton, but we end up getting Cousins and Kyrie, which is perfect. So here we are, Kyrie, Cousins, Zion, Shy, and then a whole uh, mess of nothing too much. It is at this point that it looks like we should trade Shy. And I'm gonna go ahead and get Miles Bridges and Malik Monk. I like this two assets and in our training camps i believe we are going to give miles bridges untapped potential and romeo link sounds good to me okay i like it for into next season and immediately let's check out the free agents where deandre jordan is available and is willing to sign with us hopefully let's just sign deandre boom deandre welcome to the team okay now that means our starting lineup is Kyrie, malik monk zion demarcus cousins and deandre jordan and i've seen some comments where people don't love when i play guys 48 minutes and stuff so as of right now i'm going to max out my guys minutes at 42 for this season however i'm going to look at what the league leaders in minutes per game in this sim is at the end of this year and if there are people playing more minutes or if everyone's playing less i'll adjust on that with that said we should just get to the basket shooting at will crashing the offensive glass with two bigs playing physical defense and running as for our playbook you know i'm gonna go with the celtics playbook with Kyrie as our number one option cuz number two zion number three okay so we definitely need a backup big man and we have none of those which means we have to cut someone and go get one it's always nice to have to get a backup big man from the free agency pool and i can only offer a minimum contract all right maxi we don't even have to talk about what your nickname obviously is going to be let's just set our rotation for now maxi will be playing along with jerome and miles and so i am going to be playing Kyrie, zion and demarcus 42 minutes or seven seconds is apparently the best thing we could play so let's do it and yeah let's go win some basketball games hopefully and if not let's make some moves at the trade deadline and by the way guys as we're going here we're getting so close to 500,000 subscribers on this channel make sure you subscribe so that we can get there together it'll be awesome two channels with over 500,000 subscribers that is insane and also so we're on the grind on the second channel we've been posting very consistently at least compared to what we've been doing so that's not gonna stop trust me with that said let's keep moving all right guys and so we're at the all-star break and as you can see we're 48 and 11 i am incredibly happy with this this is awesome we are the best team in the nba right now we're just gonna look at our stats right away just because this is incredible what i did not expect this in year two at all so Kyrie's averaging around 30 and 9 Cousins 27 and 12.5, 5.6 assists, and Zion with almost 20 and 10 and 5.5. And we really should get three All Stars here, but we're only going to get two. Kyrie there, Demarcus there, and yeah. And as for the trade deadline, if you guys saw, I did go past it. The reason being, our team is just stacked right now. We're loaded. Yeah, we might end up losing DeAndre, but we're going to have a ton of assets that we could use to potentially replace him. I'd rather just see how this team ends the season than make a move that's definitely going to hurt our chemistry and could potentially cost us the championship i like our team as it is as you see guys we did go 63 and 19 awesome for a second season cousins is the mvp zion's the rookie of the year Kyrie and cousins are first team all nba let's get it second team we've got zion who wasn't an all-star but it's a top 10 player in the nba whatever and here are our final stats you know gonna be around the same as they were at the all-star break looking at league leaders minutes per game is what i want to see we have the top three guys in minutes only played at 42 so i will lower that to 40 from now on so deandre you can get 40 malik you shot almost 40 percent from three that's good so did you miles all right we're gonna give these minutes to move so now it is time for the playoffs we're going up against the anthony davis led pelicans in the first round very unrealistic but whatever you know we're still hopefully yep we win in five games and the second round has us going up against russ 
Paul George, and Al Horford. That is a dangerous team. We've been good all season. I trust. Let's go. Come on. Three. Bring out the brooms. All right. Still taking applications for a broom guy. So don't only comment down below that you want to be the broom guy. Also comment some sort of resume. You know, how many times you've swept in your life. We're playing the Rockets in the Western Conference Finals. They're very good. And game five is huge. We win it. Come on. Boom! NBA Finals versus the Sixers. The Sixers have Ben Simmons, Zaire Smith, Jimmy, Tobias, and Embiid. So, the Tobias Harris trade definitely worked for the Sixers. We're going with Simcast, and we smoke them in the first game. Cousins, 44 and 15. Kyrie, 37 and 14. Second game, looking like more of the same, and it's even worse. Let's go! Kyrie, 49. Game three, just keep it up. They can't hold us. They cannot hold us. Broom guy, where are you at? It's 3 0. Who cares? And uh, Broom guy, take out the broom. Get sweeping. Champions, let's go. That is already amazing. And we've got three more seasons left, guys. Okay, and so we're at the draft lottery, and. and and yeah, as you can see right now, number six and number eight odds. Number one pick from Dallas. What up, guys? This is the greatest rebuild of all time. I'm not sure if we were getting that other pick. It might be lottery protected. It's not. We have the first and ninth pick and the 24th pick. So yeah, we're doing that right now. Who is the number one pick? It's going to be Brian Antoine. We could use a shooting guard. That works out perfectly, actually. Other than that, I guess we're going to try and move up a little. Can we move up to the sixth pick? All right. We gave up our 2021 pick and our first round pick this year for the number six pick. Other than that, I'm okay with the staff we have and let's go to the draft. Oh my God, guys, this is incredible. This is what happens when you sign two huge free agents right away. You end up with super teams. So Brian Antoine supposed to be the number one overall pick. I've taken Brian Antoine before in these, so I'm going to go with Jaden McDaniels. As for our next pick, we can still get Precious. We can get James Wiseman. Yeah, let's take Precious. That is our draft. Let's go. That is is awesome sign our rookies player options of course we're keeping all of these guys they're all assets and as for qualifying offers we don't need to make any for these guys and here we are deandre is a free agent and we can not offer him anywhere close to the money that he needs so we're gonna lose deandre it looks like okay so honestly it's gonna be hard to trade for someone with a big contract really deandre aiden might have to be the option here if we could possibly get him he only makes 10 million right now boom okay deandre aiden perfect thank you so that puts us right now we're gonna get rid of deandre jordan's rights we're, we're renouncing everyone all right we have no cap room actually that's gonna happen in a second we have no cap room okay let's look at player progression as you can see aiden 91 cousins 93 Kyrie 94 solid zion already in 89 awesome okay and so we have three training camps to work with we're gonna give one to Jaden. we're also gonna give one to precious you know what we're gonna work on zion's three-point shooting that is a huge concern all right now here we are free agency and we can get Mortz, Wagner, Bazemore, Jabari. You know what? We're not going to worry about that. We're just going to sign him. So like I said, minutes are going to be capped at 40. And we'll get Jaden 34. Miles 26. All right. And that brings us to the start of the season where I'm very confident. So let's just go to the all-star break because this team should be loaded. We should be good to go. Okay, and so we're at the trade deadline now, and Mortz Wagner becomes two points overall better as a power forward. So, because we're going to lose him anyway, we're definitely going to package him for something. Let's look at our stats before we do anything now. Looking at the stats, Kyrie killing it. Cousins doing well. Jaden doing really well as a rookie. We're definitely keeping him. Aiden doing his thing. What we really need is just... A very solid sixth man to you know ride this out with honestly Lonzo is affordable at 11 million dollars how about we don't aim for Lonzo and instead go for Kobe but now we need the salaries to work out and this trade hopefully will work and it does okay so there we go we got Kobe White who is now going to be our sixth man of the future we also added a 79 overall in Birch and a 78 overall in Bullock so I like the idea of having a big time six man 28 minutes with that we're gonna 
lower Aiden's and cousins a little just because our bench isn't getting enough time and let's do it other than that let's get to the trade deadline as you see we are doing really well 40 wins 40 wins all right already got 40 wins 41 and 42 let's go at the all-star break 42 and 15 couldn't ask for any more Kyrie and cousins are all stars and that's it that's a shame but now it's into the end of the season because we're killing it I believe in this team and guys as you see we finished the season 61 and 21 anthony edwards rookie of the year that's kind of disappointing wanted our boy to win but that's fine clippers cousins first team all nba second team all nba Kyrie, and zion who still is on an all-star and third team no one all right we are the number one seed here are our final season stats so as you can see we're putting up points in bunches let's look at the league leaders now in minutes yeah so 40 seems about fair led the league in points per game and we're getting close to the record for points per game but now it is the playoffs in the playoffs we have the timberwolves first round with cam reddish on their team i always just sim current round now every time i sim playoffs i just feel like things i don't know I'm just scared of it. I thought the broom guy would make another appearance, but he does not. Doesn't matter. Here we are against the Lakers. They are really good. I am not fully confident, but they only won 46 games. Yup, let's do it. Come on. Bring out the brooms. Broom guy, enter the stage. Let's go. And the Rockets beat the Warriors. We're just moving on. Sim current round. Let's go. Keep going. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Tied it up. Yup. Keep going, please big game seven you know we gotta go to simcast in simcast it is a very close game we're pulling away come on oh my oh what happened no they made a buzzer beater capella dunked at the buzzer with five seconds oh my guys honestly i'm not gonna lie that kind of makes this a little more interesting we're moving on obviously four straight championships would be awesome i'm just mad we lost whatever i don't think we have any oh we do have miami's pick again if we got the number one pick i feel like there would be a lot of comments let's just see who we could get in the draft and we're just gonna go ahead and take jalen johnson and we are at free agency where we probably have no money yep minus 23 million dollars honestly i'm just gonna let this go to player progression before i try to make any moves and in player progression Jalen's an 84. Kobe is an 81, 82, it says in the top right. So Zion with a huge jump to a C plus three. That's really big. Looking at the contracts that these guys have, Jaden has almost 10 mil. Kobe only three, 2.5 though. We do have Robinson and Birch though, five mil. All right. But as things stand now, uh, let's just go to training camps. I'm just going to keep the team as it is. We have a 95% team chemistry. I think we're really good. We're gonna send Zion again to three-point shooting. We're going to send McDaniels to three-point shooting, so he's just knocked down. We're going to give Kobe White untapped potential. That way, you know, if we do wanna trade him, that's an option. Jalen Johnson, unfortunately, you don't get to play. Kobe White, we're cutting your minutes down to 22 because you're just way worse than everyone, really. And we're gonna go 40, 36, 40, 40, 40, 22, 14, eight. All right, easy enough. If we have to make a trade, we will, but I'm confident even though we're one and one, one and two. Oh wait, I did want to do one thing. I have not changed this. So we're going to get shooters open now. Kyrie's still the main option, but let's try Zion at number two. The reason being that last year, Cousins only shot 48% and Zion shot 55%. So yeah, let's get him more touches. Okay, and here we go. All right, guys, and so we're at the All-Star break, 48 and 9. We're killing it. Let's just look at the All-Stars and just keep going. So Kyrie, Cousins, Zion, finally, three All-Stars. We're just obviously going. I skipped the trade deadline because I didn't need anyone to trade for. As you can see, with contract extensions, Kyrie is willing to resign. Let's get him. Boom. So is Cousins. Lock these guys up. Okay. And at the end of the year, we won 70 games and Zion is the MVP. We also have Cousins, a first team all NBA, second team, nobody, third team, nobody. Disappointing for Kyrie, but I'm sure he'll get over it. No longer the first option. He did dip a lot, probably because our sixth man is also a point guard. But yeah, Zion, the man. As for team stats, 127.9 points per game. We set the record. The record was 126.48. 
we set the record for points per game in an NBA season. That is awesome. And in the first round, we have the Mavericks. I'm not too worried. Broom guy, you ready? Yup, we need him. Broom guy, get out of here. Second round, we're just moving on against the Nuggets. They only went 42 and 40. We won 70 games. We should just dominate. Broom guy? Broom guy, get out of here. Let's go. All right. Warriors, though. They've got Steph. They got Clay, Durant, Draymond. Hopefully, we are still fine. All right. Big game one. Broom guy again? Okay. No. Yup. Almost, though. Five games. We're against the Celtics in the NBA Finals. The Celtics have Schroeder, RJ, Tatum, Sabonis, and Steven Adams. And game one is such a sweat. Oh, my God. We almost gave that away. RJ took a three to win the game and missed it. Game two, more of the same. It's close, and we lose. What is happening? Game three, though, no sweat. Cousins with a casual 47 and 13 with five assists and five blocks, you know. The man. Game four, this would be huge, and we hold on. Let's go. Just hoping game five is easy, and it is. Cousins did it. Zion did it. Clippers, champs, Cousins, you deserve this. 32 and 14, 4.4 assists, 2.8 blocks in the finals. The man. That's championship number two. Will we get our third in the final season? Will we break the wins record? We're about to find out. So at this point, I'm almost positive I do not have a draft lottery selection. Yep, we only have our second round pick, so we're just going to skip right by the draft. Of course, we're going to keep all of our guys. We can't qualify offers we have to keep deandre but he's a restricted free agent so we're fine there other than that uh let's get through free agency first so here you go deandre he agrees okay and jerome is gone the most we could offer is six mil so let's see what we could get day 11 here we can get marcus page accepts our offer so we're just gonna go seven deep next season here we go zion's a 94 aiden's a 94 mcdaniels has become a 90 kobe's an 85 jalen 84 let's go all right training camps again we're gonna be sending zion to three-point shooting his three-point shooting is now at a b let's send McDaniels to playmaking combo guard and we're gonna give cousin some rebounding to help out let's go seven man deep now sorry Marcus Page we're gonna use the 40 cap on every single starter so five starters playing 40 minutes we're gonna make Jalen Johnson a small forward slash power forward Kobe White a shooting guard slash point guard and then cousins we got to make sure he can back up at the center position which he currently is not okay so we just got to do that and then we're gonna be set we're now gonna have Zion as our number one option and no one else I want to run like I want to score more no, we scored enough with the Celtics playbook we're gonna keep it not much to do here honestly let's just start simming and let's see if we can do this And I accidentally went above the all-star break, but as you can see, we're 53 and seven right now. Let's go. And at one point we won 33 straight games in a row, which tied the NBA record, which means this loss right here. Yup. This loss to the Mavericks by six points was devastating. As for the all-stars, we got Kyrie, we've got cousins and Zion. That's it. Wow. No respect, no respect on our names at all. Let's finish the season though. And boom, guys. All right, we lost the last game of the season, but 74 wins breaks the wins record. Oh my God, what a sweat. We finally did it though. Zion MVP again, well-deserved. Shot 60%. Zion, first team All-NBA, only one. Second team, Cousins and Aiden. But here we are wins record let's look at our stats zion led the team we had four guys average over 20 and mcdaniel's averaged 19 amazing we set the record for points per game in a season again and really there's not much left to say but to just do these playoffs let's go take care of business brooms brooms broom guy you're getting a lot of work in this one all right lakers round two probably still pretty loaded yeah they're really good shouldn't matter though of course we lose game one i do not like this sweat right now okay all right seventh seed okc they not only have al horford they also added clint capella that's interesting not sure how they're the seventh seed they actually were 40 and 42 and they beat us in game one okay just keep going boom us versus the knicks in the finals that's awesome john morant killing it zaire wade what up other than that i'm i'm not worried other than Zaire, I guess. Don't tap into Papa Wade's playoff greatness. Game one was a sweat. 
Game two. All right, cool. Game two, we only had to wear one shirt. Game three, here we go. And we're down the entire game. Unfortunate. Game four. Four, come on in the garden boom let's finish this off let's finish this off with three championships and we have to wait on it let's do it in the garden all right even better this is our home court baby get out of here Knicks. sorry mcdaniel's dropping 30 zion with a big game clippers champions zion finals mvp we did it boys three championships in five seasons that was awesome and we just sim passed the first one so really it was three and four thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe again we're getting really close to 500k let's get there we're so close i want it you could tell i'm grinding on these rebuilds they take a long time to make and we're just gonna keep making them so subscribe so you don't miss a video if you're already subscribed thank you so much for watching you're the best and as always have an awesome day guys and cue that music by the way if you're still here while the music is cute here are two videos i think you are going to love watching all you have to do is just click on either one of them on the screen right here and other than that guys again have a great day and peace